Good evening, Master Tanaka. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am Master Isao. I am here to bring some guidance. Within every word that you are leading, always remember that this word is leading your energy. Even if you don't have an understanding of what energy is, but that is this truth, and the truth doesn't change because you don't understand it. The truth always remains. So, what does it bring to you? A desire. That is what you have to observe. Because if this explanation that I have brought here doesn't awaken in your being any desire, then you are all locked inside your, let's say, inside your fortress. You are locked inside the incomprehension you have determined for yourself. This is why when you hear words, then these words that come to you as information, how this information is being accepted? If it's really being accepted in a free way, without any conditioning, then this information becomes part of your electromagnetic field. And this information will even boost your being, because this information has awakened in you a desire, the desire to know yourself. That's why all the words that are put here, all these words must be vibrating in you. Because if you don't allow these words to vibrate in your being, this desire is not awakened. Because the state of numbness or state of protection that you have imposed on yourself, then this imposition will prevail. Because remember, in your world, it is only you who makes the decision. In your world, it is you who makes choices. It is not me, Master Sao, who is here with my energy that will make choices for you. It is not this. Because everything, when it is here, the energy that it is here, vibrating between all of us, this energy is the recognition of my being. So what do you come to understand? When we are in a state of oneness, this energy is also the recognition of your being, because this is our truth. So, what I put here as a guideline, pay more attention to your words. Pay more attention to what you allow yourself to vibrate, because the vibration in your being, you already have this experience. There is not a single inhabitant of planet Earth who does not have this perception of you. If you don't have this perception now, it is because you have closed yourself off from it. You activated the system of self-protection within this imposition. You generated it. But in the same way that you generated the self-imposition, you can also modify it. It is you who put it in. It is you who removes it. Because this is your action in your life. When it is said that everything in your life moves according to your action, then this action must be vibrating in your being. Because when you are focused on you, your thought, which is an energy, is focused on you. Your feeling is here, vibrating in you. Your behavior is following all the guidance you are giving yourself. So, when it is said about being responsible for yourself, then this is not an empty word. This is a word that I even direct all of you to look up the meaning of this word. Really realize that being responsible is not an obligation. Being responsible is not an imposition. But to be responsible is to recognize who you are and to assume this recognition within your posture in your life. I know that there are several words that are being put here, and I do bring the orientation to go deeper into these words, 
because within these few words, there is an intense orientation for each one of you. With these words, I say goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.